All right, welcome back everybody. I'm really excited today to make this video. So I wanted to make kind of a demo video of the steps that you could go through to build your thermos cup. So I put together a checklist and that checklist is gonna help you with some instructions and kind of some steps to follow to help you build your thermos cup, okay? So you can see I've got some materials here laid out on the table. I've got some cups, I've got a Ziploc bag, I have a piece of fleece, I have some glue, I have some rubber bands. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna find two identical cups that can be used for your control, um, and also one cup that is gonna be the modified one. So I chose to use styrofoam cups. This would be my control cup, and this would be my um, cup that I'm gonna modify. So I already did some modifications on it. I don't want this video to take super long. So I did some steps on it already, okay? So the next checkbox says, use your design plan drawing and begin to build your thermos. So our previous assignment, you spent some time doing a planning sheet and you drew a design for your thermos. You should have that out in front of you while you're doing this. You should try to follow it. And of course, you're gonna be building, you're gonna find out that sometimes things don't work out the way that you drew them. That's perfectly okay. And again, it's gonna depend on what materials you have available to you. Just like we've said in the last few videos, you can use any materials you have around your house. Um, what I'm showing you today is not the correct or the wrong way to build your thermos. This is just an example. Um, so I'd like you to come up with your own ideas and designs, but feel free to use um, some of my ideas. But again, we're looking for you to show what you learn, not what I learn. Okay. So the next step says uh, use different insulating materials by wrapping them around the inside or outside of your cup to slow the transfer of heat down. So you can use a variety of materials such as cotton balls, newspaper, toilet paper, fabric, clothes, wool, air, air, right? Remember we learned that air doesn't transfer heat very well. So if you can create a gap in your thermos where there's just air or no air, um, that might be a good thing. You can use plastic wrap, Ziploc bags. I have a Ziploc bag here that I covered in tinfoil. I'll talk about that later. Um, cardboard and any other things. So the, what I did um, to build my um, cup, I just took my original um, cup here, styrofoam cup, and I took cotton balls and I used some glue and I put glue on the outside of my cup and then I attached these cotton balls. I kind of pulled them apart. And so my thought on this was this was going to be an insulator that would help me with um, building my cup. You can do anything you want for insulator. You could also put an insulator on the inside of the cup. So if you think that would be a more effective way to um, keep your ice cube from melting, that's a good idea too. You can use multiple layers of insulators. You don't have to use cotton. You can use paper, um, use toilet paper. You can use plastic wrap. You can use egg carton <laughs> materials. Um, styrofoam, anything like that, okay? So this was what I did is I basically just put um, cotton balls around the outside. That was one of my insulators, okay? So the next step says optional. It says build multiple layers into your thermos by using two cups inside each other. Um, you could leave space between different insulating layers or maybe include a air gap. So what I thought I would do is I actually just found an extra styrofoam cup and I'm gonna include two layers in my thermos by simply taking the extra cup and putting it inside it. So now you can see I have a layer of cotton balls, I have the styrofoam, and then I have another layer of styrofoam from the two cups I put um, in together, okay? I also am going to include another layer in my cup by just taking a just a regular paper cup and I'm going to put that inside the two layers that I already have. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put my paper cup in here. It's just going to sit in there. I didn't need to glue it in there. I didn't need to tape it in there. I didn't need to do anything. All right. So now I've got multiple layers. I've got the cotton balls, I've got the styrofoam, I've got styrofoam, and then I've got paper. Okay. So there's no limit on how many layers you can include in your thermos. But remember, you've got to be able to hold it in your hand. You know, if your thermos is this big, you know, it's not going to work very good to take a drink out of it, okay? All right, the next step that you want to think about is how are you going to build a lid 
uh, for your thermos that can easily uh, be assessed. And remember, your ice cube must be able to be easily added or removed from your thermos. So this is maybe one of the most tricky parts of designing your thermos. You know, think about thermoses today. Um, I have one right here in front of me. You know, this is a very fancy one. It's got kind of a, a spin top so you can um, open it and close it and then drink your coffee out of it. You can see it's got a screw on top. So this is pretty complicated, but you don't have to make it that complicated, okay? So what I chose to do, something simple I have laying around the house is a Ziploc bag. And then what I did is I took tin foil, okay, so this is a Ziploc bag. I took tin foil and I just taped it to the outside of it. So my thought was if I have this reflective layer on the outside, um, that maybe be, might be how I'm going to cover up uh, my cup, okay? And then the last layer I chose to put on is I took a piece of fleece and I'm just going to wrap it around. I'll show this too, like this. And then to hold the fleece on, I'm just going to use a rubber band, okay? So I'm going to use a rubber band and it's a little tricky to get that to stay on there. So I'm going to put one kind of on the bottom. So there's my rubber band on the bottom. And then I'm going to put one on the top as well, okay? So I got my other rubber band right here. And I'm going to double that up. All right, so now if I look at all the different layers I have in my thermos, I've got the fleece, I have the first styrofoam cup, then I have the second uh, styrofoam cup, and then I have the paper cup on the inside. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I need a top for my thermos. So what I decided to do is I would then I'd put my ice cube in my thermos, so I'd drop it in, and then my top to my thermos is going to be the Ziploc bag. Okay. So I'm just going to put this over the top like this. And there you have it. This is Mr. Rocco's thermos. So if you see me, um, which you will, next year in, in school and we're back in our classrooms, uh, maybe I'll be drinking my coffee out of this thermos. That'd be kind of cool, right? And the last step that you'd want to do is make it so it looks really cool. So I might take a marker on here and write Mr. Rocco or Fairbill Falcons or whatever you want. You can color it. Um, and so when I'm ready to drink out of my thermos, all I have to do is just take my top off like this. Okay. And here we go. Mm. That is some nice ice cold water. So really have fun with this. Be creative. Think outside the box. There is no wrong way to build your thermos. Think about and use what we've learned over the past few weeks to do this. And as always, I'll be having Google Meets and come to those Google Meets at 1 p.m. We're going to brainstorm ideas and share our thermoses. Have a great day, everybody.